Good evening. Here we are. Come up. And welcome to Narrows League Basketball between the visiting South Kitsap Wolves and the Cougars of Central Kitsap. Presents High School Basketball, and this is going to be a good one tonight from Silverdale and Central Kitsap High School. The Central Kitsap Lady Cougars take on the South Kitsap Lady Wolves in a huge Narrows League matchup tonight. Joined by Kitty Campagna and other, on the other microphone. Mr. Pat Duncan and Eric Reichel on the camera. Spencer Anderson streaming it for the KidsAppSun.com. And uh, Matthew St. Carroll directing and very happy to welcome Mr. John Sitton on that other microphone. And Kitty, this is going to be a huge game for both these teams. 
This is really huge. South has to win it to remain in first place. CK has third place pretty well locked down, but they're not real happy how the first game turned out, and they are here to, as Coach Baxter says, play better. Well, Central Kids up in the white and orange, and South in the maroon and gold. Yeah, we've got some action right away as the ball knocked loose from the Cougars, and South Kids up coming across the half court line with it. Who we got out there, Kitty, for South? South Kitsap number three, Ali Davis, 13, Courtney Conklin Smith, 14, Jackie Steiger, 21, Taylor Sunkel, and number 24, Miley Keanu. And those are all seniors. And out there for the Central Kitsap Cougars, we've got Jenna Warner, Gwen Rhino, Demi Holbrook. Uh, 22 is Krista Stabler. And our other Cougar out there, Carly Hoisington. And John, it's been a good season of basketball for both the boys and girls Cougar teams this year. Oh, absolutely no complaints from Central Kitsap High School. They played outstanding ball. And now we're getting down to crunch time. Playoffs just around the corner. Got about a week and a half to go. I think about two games, maybe three with the pickup game from the, what do we hear it called? Snow Palance? Oh, yeah. Snowpocalypse. Oh, Snowpocalypse, that was it, yeah. <laughs> well, so far, nobody's got any points on the board, and we're down a, a minute or so, minute, two minutes, actually, in the first quarter here. Oh, nice pass to the inside, oh. and unfortunately, Hoisington could not convert it. You can't ask for a better play as far as getting that. It just didn't fall. And we have a whistle from the referees. Do a little housekeeping out there on the court. <laughs> Dale Ritter going to pick up an extra stipend here tonight for janitorial <laughs> services. <laughs> See, that's what Jim wants us to pay extra for, huh? That's it. I think so. <laughs> South Kitsap with the ball, working it around on the outside. Boy, South Kitsap looks tall, John. Oh, they really do. And what a matchup right here, Stabler and Steiger tonight, Jackie. That's going to be a fun one to watch. And Krista <laughs> took the ball the whole way, couldn't convert it, and would like to have seen a, or heard a whistle blow. <laughs> and she did. It was out of bounds off of South. <laughs> CK bringing it in here. Trigger in to win Rhino. Rhino takes a step, and the ball will go over to South Kitsap. Man bringing it in for South is Jackie Steiger. Now South currently tied with Bellerman for the number up one the position. Top position in the Narrows League. And what they have done is they each have one loss. They're at nine and one, and that one loss coming from the opposite team. So if they end up that way, there will be a little playoff to see who gets the number one seed out of the Narrows League. Rebound pulled down by Jenna Warner. And she'll bring it across half court, guarded tightly by Taylor Sunkel. Over to Krista Stabler. And into the corner, that shot got tipped. Good job down low on the offensive board though for Central Kidsap and Jenna Warner. And she will get a trip to the free throw line. Uh, Jenna Warner did a nice job securing that weak side board and uh, establishing that position early. And uh, she's rewarded with some foul shots here for the Cougs. Maybe well, we'll get a point. Yeah. <laughs> Offensive rebounding, always so important. And, you, you know, it's just one of those things that it really takes a lot of work. You know, Doc, one of the things that's hard for a, a student, student players to do is that they have to be about a pass ahead of the play to be able to establish a great offensive rebounding position. And uh, that's hard to do. And uh, Jenna did it that time. She was ahead of the play, established her position, and she couldn't be moved out. Well, we got one point on the board, and it's for the Central Kitsap Cougars. One out of two there. South Kitsap bringing it across court. Sunkel out beyond that three-point line. Sends it over to Miley Keanu. And they're going down low. Oh. Ooh, good tough rebound by Demi Holbrook. Well, she'll try taking it the whole way. <laughs> nice job. Way to push the ball. And I said, well, the first thing is we can take it to the rack right away. And she went the distance there. South a little slow getting back in transition. First time these two teams met, South came out of the gate really fast with a big league early, and Central never caught up. Air ball and Ellie Davis, Ellie Davis for South with it. And they go into Davis down in the paint. 
in, one shot and out. Another rebound, this time it's Carly Hoisington pulling it down for the Cougs. Oh, beautiful pass. Nice job, nice job. And Krista Stabler finishes the job. Well, let's say hi to her grandpa in Texas, who I have been told should be listening and watching this tonight. So one of our <laughs> things with this live streaming that we're really excited about. And again, nice defensive rebounding effort so far by the Cougars, John. Absolutely, one and out for the for the Wolves each time down the floor. Cougars doing a nice job. And the Cougars have been doing a nice job in transition too, getting some easy baskets. Out in front of that three court line is Krista. She'll take the jump shot off the glass and the rebound pulled down by Courtney Conklin Smith for the Wolves. And there's the first South Kid Sam bucket. <laughs> Oh, one, one good turn deserves another. <laughs> South comes back in transition and Burns Central not getting back. Halfway through this first period and it's three to two lead for the Cougars. Oh, good effort on rebound that time by Warner. And that will remain this end. Jenna Warner doing a real nice job of battling here in this first quarter on the backboard for the Cougs. Good effort there. Once again, rewarded by a ball inbounds for the Cougs. And it will be Jenna Warner bringing it in. I think Demi Hol Holbrook coming out just to fix her <laughs> ponytail, if nothing else. <laughs> Uh-oh, ball gets loose in the paint. Oh, CK managed to maintain it. And give the Jenna big hurrah uh, to Gwen Rhino down on the floor, keeping it alive for the Cougars. Two points go to Warner, though, thanks to Rhino. Now a little bit of a full court press. South Kidsap has it. Really nice move by Keanu. Coach Hewlett said he knew what he had in Jackie Steiger and Taylor Sunkel, but the surprises this year are Allie Davis and Miley Keanu. Boy, that South Kidsap defense is really clogging up that middle, Jeff. Yeah, they're doing, a, they're doing a nice job, and they're helping real well also. And uh, give I have really credit right now early to the, the Cougs. Every loose ball, they're hustling, they're working hard, and uh, that's given them their early lead. Stabler yeah. triggers it in for CK. Hustle points definitely to CK. Logan Lafon, no, that's Malias. No, Logan Lafontaine, I was right the first time. <laughs> Trying to go up. Yeah, that one will turn over to the South Kidsap Wolves. Cougars up 5-2 with three minutes left to go here at number one. Again, the uh, Wolves set up in the half court. Oh, nice oh, Nice pass. job, nice job. <laughs> great <laughs> cut by Jackie Steiger, too, down Steiger. along that baseline. What a great move along the baseline. That double screen down low, and uh, Krista turned her head and <laughs> got lost on that one there, but it was a great offensive move. Bad. Krista Stabler oh. to the glass for two. That's the way. Great you kind of like by Krista. Well, you we like when, you. when they challenge Krista because That's that exactly usually brings right. something out in her. That's exactly right. We saw it there. And South jump shot is off, but rebound goes to the Wolves and two for Keanu. Keanu. She has done a great job this year for the Wolves, and uh, Kitty, you're absolutely right. She has been a, a real, real important part of the South Kitsap fortunes this year. Yeah, whistle going to blow. Foul be tagged to Ally Davis. Now, Coach Hewlett tells me, I asked him what his plan was. He said, we're going to play defense and we're going to score. So <laughs> I, he go. said it's pretty simple. <laughs> like and kind of like Coach Baxter just telling me we're going to play better. So they know what these girls can do. They know what they've done all year. Both have been very successful. They've played with confidence. They both need to do that tonight. And you're absolutely right. And the coaches are. They're saying, well, we're just going to play our game. Our focus will be our game. We're not worried about the opposition. We first have got to be the best who we can be, then we'll go from there. Well, what's funny with these girls, our game is their game because these girls play on select teams together. All you saw before the game were hugs and, oh, how you doing? And, and I'm just sitting here thinking, that's the enemy. What are you doing? It's so like one big family. It is. Yeah, it is. Well, it's great they have the opportunity to continue to play at that level. Oh, definitely. Uh, there, the, there are uh, some year. other great opportunities out there. South Kidsap, under two minutes to go with the ball. Here in the first quarter, jump shot from the free throw line is off, and Stabler corrals it for the Cougars. 
And I do not have a 12, and they actually had no extra. Ooh, nice block there, and South Kitsap comes away with it. Stabler giving a little bit up on height. Just a oh, bit. Nice job. Oh, good takeaway by the Cougars. Gwen fighting out there tonight. LaFontaine with the rebound, puts it back up. Good effort, but CK couldn't complete it. You're absolutely right. That last defensive end in there, Green Rhino, did a wonderful job of post-defense down there. And uh, you can watch her again here shortly. Oh, ball off the glass there. That was a tough shot with three defenders in white <laughs> right on you. <laughs> oh, lots of pressure by the Cougs, and it's only one shot. There isn't any offensive rebounding for the Wolves right now. Yeah, whistle blows it. CK inbound. Under a minute left to go in this first quarter. Nine to six lead for the Cougars. Oh, there's the long outside shot. Off the iron and run down by Davis. Jenna Warner with the tough assignment. Ooh, count that one for Davis. Very impressive. Lots of nice movement underneath offensively for South with those screens down below. They're tough. Cougars are having trouble getting through, and that was a beautiful shot by Davis. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. CK with the ball and the lead. Ten seconds. Stabler will drive into the paint and get the two. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Excuse me, you're taller than me? What does that mean? And those are the ones that just drive the coach crazy. 3.8 seconds left in the first quarter. Not only the bucket, but the foul. Coach Hewlett was hoping that was a prior to the shot one, but not getting the call from these referees. Oh, nice attempt there by Warner. And that's the end of number one. And thanks to that last three-point play there, the Cougars leading the South Kitsap Wolves 12 to eight at the end of quarter number one. And so far, I've seen what I expected, a really tough ball game by both teams. Absolutely, I think a good first quarter for Central Kitsap. Hustle points, Kitty, you said that, go to the Cougs. And also, just one shot offensively for South. Good job by the Cougars by boxing out and limiting any extra shots offensively for the Wolves. And uh, this second quarter will be interesting because this is the tough quarter that the Cougars had at Port Orchard, where South came out in a second quarter and really took it to them. It'll be interesting to see what happens there. Well, Krista Stabler has come to play. She already has nine points, nine of the CK 12 points, but not, not for the want of others shooting, at least. So. And Warner and Rhino have really been working work. hard out there. I mean, there's been very few offensive rebounds for South Kitsap. They're really putting the body on the South Kitsap players, keeping them off. And also, I think they're doing a great job defensively, especially that was just textbook grin. Rhino on her post defense that have been excellent for the Cougs. And Warner has the unenviable task of oh. guarding Taylor Sunkel oh, yeah. and has <laughs> done an incredible job so far. Well, as we get ready to begin number two here at Central Kidsap High School, Cougars up 12-8, South Kidsap with the leather. And bringing it across is Jackie Steiger, number 14, a senior out there for Coach Mike Hewitt. And there's a three for number three. Holly Davis sinks it, and it's back to a one-point ball game, 12-11. Well, she looks real good this first half. She's done a real nice job. She, we have to keep, they have to keep an eye on her. All oh, the no time. doubt. So, uh, she, boy, looks real good. And she's got the feel for it. She's Already five points, yeah. First, first foul. Well, and the only thing different pretty much on that scoreboard is five team fouls at the beginning of the second against South. And that's number six. He's six to call <laughs> with 7.34 left to go in the first half. I remember last year the game we did here that was a similar start where South had some foul trouble, which certainly helped out Central Kitsap. Uh, good inbound play. Could not convert though, and South Kitsap coming the other way. Whoa. Uh oh, old high dribble. Oh, they're calling them close tonight, aren't they? 
Well, there was a little bit of a push, but. Guzman's gonna be tagged with that one. Leslie is replaced by her clone, Demi, <laughs> out there. <laughs> they look like the same person almost. This has been a fun matchup to watch right here, Steiger and Stavler. And uh, two great athletes out there on the floor going at each other here. Well, I like the patience of Steiger so far because I, oh, once again, what should have uh -oh. been a double dribble or something. So instead, we'll get a call of a, of a foul underneath. Test of patience for both coaches here. It hey. is, it is. Yeah, they're looking yeah. back at us, just yeah. trying not to say anything. Kind of, we understand, yeah, it's okay. And we do not have replay. No. Well, uh, you'll have to replay it at home. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Make your own decision out there. And I would tell you who was shooting if I knew, but they sent the boys roster to them. And although I have a list of JVs, <laughs> I don't have numbers yeah. that went with them. So halftime, I'll try to get that. Well, South Kitsap with their first lead, 13-12 here in the second quarter as they take a one-point lead over the Cougars. Ball gets loose, and again, a takeaway. South Kitsap's got numbers, and they complete the two-on-one layup, and that's enough for Coach Denise Baxter. Time for a timeout, 15-12 lead now for South Kitsap. And John, you said at the second quarter, yeah, this is, this is real important here, and it was that's an excellent timeout by the Cougars. And Kitty, your point is really good. Jackie Steiger, I like her patience right now, and I like her tempo. She has played with facilitating all of her other players out there on the floor very, very well. And uh, that was a terrific example there. A real nice time break, excellent pass by Jackie to feed, and it was an excellent job. She's playing extremely well right now. I'm very impressed. Well, CK is going to have to just get a little bit more patient themselves and go beyond Krista Stabler. She is not the only one who can score. And as you said, that defense of South is so nasty. They have, they have excellent active hands all the time. They're all, those hands are always in a passing lane and uh, lots of deflections. They've got to take care of the ball. And Steiger will pick up Stabler at the half-court line. Now this is a change. Steiger was uh -oh. not playing on no. Stabler earlier. It was Davis, right. Oh, nice drive. There wasn't much room there for Guzman, but made the attempt down on the baseline under the hoop. Need to have those long arms to get that one come up from the reverse side. Davis is oh. long. Outsider, it was worth just two. two. She really comes off that baseline well and just squares up for that shot. And you just can't lose track of her. Oh, good Stabler. drive to the iron. Stabler answers with two for the Cougars. 17-14 lead now for South. And that corner baseline shot off. And South Kidsap comes away with the rebound. Davis over to Steiger. And they're whistling them pretty tight here in this first half. Well, if you're brave enough to drive, I think you're going to get some calls tonight. Well, I think so too. They're they're calling everything where the the reach. If they if you're leaving, if you're not making contact, you're actually calling that. If you're go, attempting to reach and your palms are uh, not up and your palms are face down, they're calling fouls. So the players must adjust. Stagger Samantha Williams comes in and fights for that. And a possession arrow goes to Central. Samantha, just a sophomore. I watched her play for CK Junior High last year. Stabler with it. Oh, a little short on that attempt. That was a good screen, though, set by Logan LaFontaine. Davis definitely feeling it. You can just see it in, I want the ball, I want the ball. <laughs> South goes into the paint though. Oh. That's gonna be offensive. Oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. it was the hook. <laughs> Few of the fans were worried that, that wasn't gonna be the call as we heard the reaction here, but no, it was, they, well, they got it. They referee got Mark it. Knowles even er, we got it. looks at us and goes, no, no, wait a minute, I got we this got right, it. don't worry. We got it. <laughs> 
5-12 left to go in the half here, and uh, South Kitsap 17-14 lead. Krista Stabler will bring it up for Central Kitsap. They go Great inside. Pass. Really nice job by Hoisington getting up for that, but can't quite put it down. Holbrook had a good pass, too, to get it into her. It was the right idea. Look at that box out. Oh. Good job on the rebound oh. that time by number 12 out there, Samantha Williams getting and we're some time. In one and one yeah, nice as job. that foul on once again, someone I don't have. <laughs> These people. <laughs> it's, I know, it's frustrating. It's <laughs> harking back to football season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know where oh, they, they have two 12s. Oh yes, there you go, what, what is going on here? 445 and up to the free throw Samantha line Williams. is sophomore Samantha Williams. That one we know. I asked Coach Baxter who she had brought up. And she did a wonderful job on that rebound. She did, really boxed out well and held her position. She had to fight to hold it. Did a nice job. Once again, rewarded at this end from foul shot. You look at her body type, you wouldn't expect oh it because she's so yeah. thin, but she does know where to be. Yeah, that positioning, the key. Uh, Logan almost got it. Ooh. Away from South. South with it, though. Davis goes down to the wing. Oh, nice passing by South Kitsap. He moved the ball nicely. Yeah, very good job. Oh, nice cross great pass, oh, pass yeah. down low. And luckily, Hoisington will get a trip to the free throw line out of that one. I don't think Carly's a natural left-hander. That was a nice left hand that she put on that. And she's worked very hard. She is she's in, working real hard down low, creating those situations for uh, these opportunities. And, uh, that was a nice job. Great pass. Yes. Carly Hoisington listed at six foot. Hey, I have this one. It's Darian Dickey who has just entered the game. Junior for South Kitsap, number one. Yeah, nice free throw. Mm -hmm. And the Cougars back up on top, 18-17. Oh boy, South oh, almost nice had numbers, but that Harley nice did a job. nice job getting down there. Wasn't that pretty? You know, hey. I don't think Davis can miss tonight. Oh. <laughs> she is totally relaxed and she is just doing an excellent job. And also with Davis, she is number three for South Kitsap. She does so well moving without the ball. That one's going to go against Central Kitsap. Well, it, I think it's what you would call pinball because as Carly <laughs> came down, she got shouldered by one and elbowed by another and answered. And they saw that part. That's usually the one they see. It is. Second or third. <laughs> Maybe the travel. That Mr. is the travel. That's Dan, or Rob Zilstra making that call. Yeah, these refs, these are some experienced refs out here oh, tonight. Yeah. We got some of the, the good guys out there who have been refing for quite a while here in the county. Now, it, it's warrant so. This is a big game tonight. Two great, great clubs. No, oh. Stabler tried to get it inside to Rhino, knocked out by South. South back up by one, 19-18. And Williams will trigger it in. Uh -oh. <laughs> yep. On the line, I believe. Yep. Yeah. It's okay to get it back to the person who sent it in as long as they're in. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a pretty good looking play they had set there. They had a good screen good. by LaFontaine ready to go. Dickey with it, she'll drive. Oh, nice block. And they're going to say knocked out of bounds by Gwen Rhino. So SK will maintain possession. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Gwen real solid in there for the Coos tonight. Real good. That was excellent help. Out front to Dickey. She'll no! go to the wing. <laughs> she missed. And coming away with it, Williams. Look at that. Woo! You go to the iron, and there to clean it up is Krista Stabler, keeping it going for the Cougs. Stabler will take the outside shot off the side of the backboard. The outside shots have been a little off so far tonight. Boy, that moves up and down the court so quickly. 
Mahan, South Kinsap maintains the possession. Under three minutes to go in this half. Good position, Gwen Rhino, nice job. And Stabler will bring it across half court. Oh, there's some tough defense out there. Oh, oh. there it is, the takeaway by Davis. Clear lane to the iron. 21-18, three-point lead for South Kitsap. She's Davis big, with 13 yeah, already. Big half for her. Oh, yeah. Something about her blossoming before yeah. his very eyes, Coach <laughs> Hewlett, yeah. Oh, that long baseline shot is off, and South with the board. Two minutes left to go in this half. I think Steiger was looking ahead. She had Dickey who <laughs> stopped. Into the paint, back to Dickey. Seven seconds on the clock. And Dickey will take the long outsider. It's off, and ball goes back to South, and it's Davis with another two. They're gonna have to put somebody on her, assign someone to her, John. Can we say she's <laughs> dialed in? She we is. Go, Holy cow. I saw her miss one, I swear. Oh. 23-18 lead now for South Kidsap with 122 left to go in the half. And I, I really like her shots. They're very confident. You can watch her and her, her form or follow through. Ah, she got a great, that's 15 I think for her right now, isn't it? It is. Yes, yeah. Oh. Stabler with it. 17 seconds left on that shot clock. Williams. Good turnaround. Shot is off though. Ball fought for and CK. Everybody's going to the floor. Jump ball is going to be called and the possession arrow to South. Oh, good effort. Both squads. Excellent job. Five points separating these two teams. Davis brings it in for South Kitsap with one minute left to go in the first half. Ooh, long outsider there for Steiger. South though gets the possession back. They'll have another opportunity. Sunko in the paint. Nice oh, pass. Oh, good pass, good eye, and good hustle down there by South Sunko. But Central finally comes away with it. Shot clock is off. No, shot clock is at 24. Yep. Well, okay. Because they won't get a new one on that one because they had possession and then uh, it was okay. knocked out of bounds. And there are about 22 seconds left to play in the half. Hmm. Stabler directed traffic out there. Oh man, just a little more room for her. South Kinsap though with a nice break. Count it for two for Taylor Sunko, and that's the end of the first half. And South Kitsap made that run in the second quarter, leading 25 to 18. Wow, what a what a difference a, a quarter makes. And South really came out hard that second quarter. Really tough on defense, and, and only CK only scored six points in that quarter. You know, defense. Really intense fight for South. But you know, our viewers can see this tonight. South Kids have, when they're in their offensive set, they pass the ball so well. They create all of their offensive opportunities by people moving to positions rather than trying to dribble and create offense. They create offense off the pass. It's been textbook. Yes, it has. And Central Kitsap has done a pretty good job down low on the boards tonight, especially. Haven't they? Gwen Rhino, what a job. And the sophomore, Samantha Williams, have really done yeoman's work down there on the uh, on the defensive boards. And then Hoisington's done a really nice job working the offensive boards down here for the Cougs. So, yeah, strengths and weaknesses here. In the second half, it should be a doozy. All right, well, we're West Sound TV. Happy to have you with us here on the Game of the Week on BKAT, as well as streaming live on the internet thanks to 
and uh, kidsabsense.com. We've got uh, Pat Duncan and Eric Reichel on the cameras tonight. Spencer Anderson streaming for the sun. Mr. Matthew St. Carroll directing. And here at the table, John Sitton, Kitty Companion. I'm the Dr. Doc Parr. And for you viewers and BKT, we'll have that second half coming up for you shortly.